Hi y'all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com So today we're going to go unroot our AT&T Galaxy Note uh, SGH i717 This is for AT&T version only um, For Rogers Telus and the Canadian versions um, You'll need a uh, your own stock ROM And I'll have another instruction set for that um, This will completely uh, uninstall Unroot your phone, unbrick uh, using the Odin method. So first, you need to put it into uh, download mode. Um, how do we do that? Let me see here. Uh, hold down the volume down and the power button. All right, and then hold it down until your phone resets and let go of the power bu power button while holding down the volume down. I think that's it. Now just keep holding down the volume down. And you should get into download mode. Yes, I was right. And then hit volume up. And then connect your USB cable to your computer. Now let's go to our computer. And basically, you'll need to download this file called attstockrom.zip. And if you unzip it, you'll get this file called attstockrom.tar. And also, you need a Odin program. I'll have links below. Um, you can download that. Um, you get uh, download the Odin 3v185.zip, and if you uh, unzip it, you get two files: Odin v185.exe and INI. And uh, this is for Windows only right now. If you have Linux or Mac, you can use Heimdall to flash this. Uh, I'll, I'll have a further instructions on that. Um, but for now, uh, just run Odin here. And uh, here we go. Don't worry about the Epic 4G. It's compatible with any Samsung uh, phone. Um, so you'll get this COM highlighted thing. You can say COM 18, COM 5. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you see the yellow highlighted thing here. And if you don't, you need to have install. Uh, you don't have the right drivers installed. Go download Samsung keys, which I'll also have linked down below. Download it. Run the EXE program to install Samsung keys. After you install it, unplug the micro USB cable and plug it back in and you should get this yellow thing. Pretty simple to do, right? And uh, choose PDA here. And we're going to go find that um, file, the ATT stock rom.tar and open and hit start. And this will basically wipe out everything, uh, wipe out all your, you know, your custom recoveries like clockwork model recovery and uh, install the whole system here and uh, you should be back on completely stock ROM and this is a great way to um, restore your uh, AT&T Galaxy Note um, so you can return it for a warranty or whatever that's probably why you're doing it or you just you just screwed up and you bricked your phone this is a great way to get it back um, and it should be going and if you have Linux or Mac, you can just use Heimdall, um, H-E-I-M-D-A-L-L. -L. It's pretty much the same, um, so it should work soon. And I'll be back when this is done. This is going to take like maybe another two minutes. Hi right, folks, so it's all done and it says remove and once you get past, you should mm -hmm. be all back on uh, AT&T rooted mm -hmm. Galaxy Note. Or sorry, stock Galaxy Note for your AT&T Galaxy Note, and you can you can notice that the triangle thing is gone now. Um, no more GTN 7000 thing, so it's been completely back to stock. You see the rethink possible, and I'll be back when this completely boots up. Um, yeah. Hi, old folks. This is Max from uh, or <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. There we go, so it's doing this new thing and uh, it actually didn't wipe all my stuff out, interesting. Um, so it doesn't actually wipe all your stuff out, I still have my apps, but I'll show you how to um, get it all all even stalker. Um, about phone, see I'm back on Android 2.3.6 um, kernel version. And uh, let's let's go reset everything. Let's go erase all my personal stuff. So I'm gonna go up and down and uh, power button, P volume up, volume down, power button. Um, oh, sorry, no, 
volume down and power button and this will get us into stock recovery now oh so you can use this actually, this actually method uh, you can use this method just to go back to stock ROM it keeps your data um, and let go of the power button when your phone screen goes off keep holding down the volume down oh sorry I'm an idiot Hold down the volume up and volume down and the power button. I got mixed up there with the download mode. Volume up and volume down and the power button. And uh, your phone should reset in about, there you go. And let go of the power button. Keep holding down volume up and volume down. And you'll get into the stock uh, recovery here in a second here. There we go. So you see those yellow things. You should be all good to go. I actually don't know, this is kind of annoying. Yeah, let's zoom in right here and uh, use the volume rockers to go select wipe data factory reset, hit the hit the uh, home button and say yes and hit the home button. The home button is this one. Yes. And this will delete all your personal settings, apps and uh, stuff like that and we should get it to completely stock. Um, reboot system now, hold the uh, press the home button and now we should have a completely unrooted phone um, now your personal data like such as your music and photos are still in your inter in internal storage and your SD card so make sure you erase that before you return it for warranty back it up somewhere else copy it over to your hard disk um, you know the drill I think and you can wipe it all the time and I'll be back when this completely boots up so this is the screen I get. Um, all right, I'm just gonna cancel. Next and okay. And uh, there we go. And everything's stock here, as you can see. No more super user and uh, I'm not getting any data because I've actually got T modem um, modem on here oh no no I should still get it because I've got T modem modem you can uh, uninstall the modem if you want to um, if you've actually flashed the T modem uh, to your AT&T Galaxy Note to use T-Mobile card like I did um, you don't have to because it'll still work on the AT&T card I just don't have it inserted um, you can see the baseband version they're not going to be able to tell the difference but if you want to you can always flash the AT&T um, it's in that same post that you use to flash the uh, T-Mobile just use Odin to flash it um, you can flash it before you flash the stock ROM um, just so make sure you don't have the exclamation mark because this will get rid of the exclamation mark um, so that's about it and uh, that's how you unroot your AT&T Galaxy Note um, and if you have a Galaxy Note don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootgalaxynote.com where I update you once or twice a week when I have time it's just for you and me I don't share your email with anyone else um, and uh, if you're on YouTube please hit that uh, like button subscribe to my channel if you have that's awesome and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and thanks to you guys for um, you know thank you guys sincerely for uh, supporting my channel and uh, I'm gonna go get higher on Android and I'm gonna try to do everything that people are asking me um, just be patient I'm just overloaded like you know I have too many phones you know almost 20 now see y'all later dude